Coming up this Sunday, thousands of people will take to the streets for London's Landmarks Half Marathon, uh, which takes in some of the capital's iconic monuments. And joining them is the television presenter Jeff Brazier, who's running for a grief charity, which, of course, is particularly close to his heart. Um, good morning to you, Jeff. Thanks for coming on. Um, first good of all, tell us... Um, Hi, <laughs> Jeff. Morning. Tell us about this, then. What, what made you decide that this was the event that you wanted to get involved in? Uh, look, quite simply, I mean, I don't like running, so it's not for that, but I love Grief and Cancer, the charity. They uh, scooped me up 13 years ago when the boys lost their mum and they've been looking out for us ever since. So uh, I don't know whether it's normal for people to make such a relationship with a charity that they feel like they want to keep giving back to them probably for the rest of my life, to be honest. So whenever these things come up, um, I'll, I'll always be there to, to support, really. Why, why, Jeff? I mean, with Jade's passing, um, how did that affect you? How did that affect mm. the children? Obviously, everybody's bereaved, but uh, it obviously went quite deep for you now to regard this family, uh, uh, this charity as a family. Uh, no, absolutely. I think it's a, <clears throat> for anyone that loses, uh, whether it's a parent, uh, whether you're losing anyone, to be honest, Damon, it, you're in crisis, you're in absolute chaos. And um, it's not a time for really sitting there and, and kind of thinking logically and rationally about your future and what, what the plan is. Mm. Um, so without people with that prior experience and knowledge to come along really and offer counselling and offer their services, uh, to be able to just hold space for you because you're, you're not going to get it after one or two sessions. It's something that takes, uh, you know, ask anyone who's bereaved. It takes years to, um, to, to find your feet again or to even feel like you, you're sort of even halfway there. So, uh, no, without Grief Encounter, I, I, I guess I, I wouldn't have done um, the job that I think I've done with the boys. And, you know, we have so much to be grateful for. Um, and that's why I'll always fundraise for them. Um, Jeff, such an amazing attitude. And, you know, so many people always so impressed with how you handled the whole thing, um, so publicly as well. Um, just tell us a little bit about what your sons say about the charity. Presumably they benefited a huge amount as well after losing their mum from the support of the charity. Yeah, the boys have, um, have, have done lots of things for Grief Encounter as well. Bobby actually ran with me last year. He's not able to do it this time. Um, so... They understand about the fortunate position, and it sounds strange for me to say the fortunate position, but the fortunate position they're in where they have the ability to give back and they, they enjoy doing things like that. On Sunday, um, I hosted a walk and talk event where um, 80 people came along on Mother's Day, and it, was, it wasn't just for mums that, that were here that we could celebrate, but it was actually you know more indicative for the boys, really. It was about the mums that had maybe lost children. It was about people that had lost their mums. It was about mums that didn't have their children they'd lost them at any stage um and i'm proud to do those things and i'm proud that the boys want to be a part of those things because i just think that that makes us fairly decent human beings and that's what as parents we're all looking to raise isn't it and i think absolutely brilliant in that human way just realizing the significance of mother's day for those whose mothers are, are no longer with them and for you to be able to recognize that when you run around london on this half marathon, what will you see, my friend? Mm, well, look, you know, you'll see a little bit of everything. All the landmarks, uh, that's why they call it London Landmarks, apparently. And, um, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to be seeing a lot of the floor and I'm going to be doing a lot of heavy breathing. Um, but <laughs> I've been out, as you can see. There is some uh, some proof. Look, that's the last one that Bobby and I had done with my friend Sean, who, as you can see, lost uh, both of his legs. And... If if I if he can run it and um, if I can kind of you know tow along in his weight in his path, um, he struggled with the cobbles. It's really interesting when you run it with someone um, who who runs from a completely different perspective. It makes you firstly appreciate um, your ability to put one foot in front of the other, but also that that yeah for for anyone um, w without their legs running on blades, as amazing as the technology is cobbles were an absolute nightmare for him so i think that's why i oh. mentioned it straight away avoid but, the uh, yeah, avoid the cobbles right. jeff lovely to talk to you we've got to break off uh, grief encounters is the charity the half marathon is on this sunday uh, look them up on the internet if you want to support wish me luck. thanks thanks good and luck. good luck you don't need that you don't you need do. that but, uh, but anyway lovely talking to you son thank you